Sunshines, it's Michelle here, and today it's a mystery yarn challenge reveal. Talk about that in a second. Um, but before we go there, I just want to invite you all to hook that subscribe button, like, comment, all the things. Give me some yarn in the description. Just I keep saying that it's not a description; it's a comment section. Give me some yarn in the comments. I will get that right eventually. I like it because, you know, yarn has got a double meaning and it's kind of fun. Like it. It's, um, weave me a yarn. Anywho, uh, so the mystery yarn challenge. Typically, what happens with the mystery yarn challenge, for those of you who don't know, is Lori the Armchair Chef. She is going to be linked down below. Um, she, each month, arranges for people to do these mystery yarn things. Hold on, at least getting squished. I've been trying to figure out how to get her to sit up on the back of the couch, or couch, the chair, but she falls down. Anyway, um, so 2022 and 2023, she started in late, late in 2022, like a little more than halfway through the year. She, the Mystery Yarn Challenge was such that if you wanted to participate, you said, hey, I want to participate, and you got in on the list, and then she made arrangements for the yarn to get um, distributed. So I would send a box of yarn to somebody, somebody would send a box of yarn to me, she made all those arrangements. We would try to make something with all of the yarns in the box. The, the big challenge is to actually make an item that uses all of the yarn. The, um, things some people kind of forget and or didn't understand that or whatever but it, you know it's your game it's your yarn you do what you want um, and then you share the finished object with Lori and she puts it in a slideshow and picks a winner because she does like random drawing for all the people um, so that's how it worked in the last couple years. This year she started something new. This year you can still do that. You can still send yarn, you can still receive yarn. She has options where if things are a little challenging, but you wanna play, um, you can talk with her about an option where you just receive yarn and make your project. You can talk to her about options where you send yarn, but don't receive and then you work on a whip that you have at your place there's some rules about it um you can still do the where you send and receive yarn which in my opinion is the fun part of the challenge but this year or this month in february i was like i have a whip that i really want to get done so um i chose this month to do just a whip which is where i say this is where I'm at at the beginning of the challenge, and I send her pictures of it. And then at the end of the challenge, I say whether or not I've got it done, show her pictures of my progress, that kind of thing. Um, the goal is to try and finish it in the time period. Um, I didn't send yarn, I didn't receive yarn, I'm just doing a whip. It's not my favorite part, but it works. And this month I needed that because I have been working on a blanket that was mystery yarn challenge, not ah, wrong words, mystery crochet along uh, that Expression Fiber Arts did last year. So I was really good. I did my January clue in January, which is this purple circle, okay? My February clue in February, which is the white. Then this spice colored was um, March. And then this one with the peach and the popcorn was April. And ooh, this gorgeous red. I love this red, by the way. This was May. And then this beautiful white lace color was June. And then this one, this is probably my favorite section right here, was July. And then I did August in this green and purple. 
And then I went, I have so much to do and it takes so long to get around this thing. And oh my gosh, what am I going to do? I'm going to pause this and tell people that I'm recording. All right, we'll see how that goes. Um, so in January, I did the September clue. Oh, I was saying I was doing Christmas stuff. I was like, I'm overwhelmed with Christmas stuff. So I put it on hold and then decided I would start it up again in January when the Christmas was over and I could breathe. Okay, so I did the January clue. Um, in the last mystery yarn reveal, I showed you guys this blue one section, which was the October clue. And today I am showing you this one, if I go over a little closer, it might be a little easier to see. That is the November clue. It is finished. Woo, 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 woo. So this is absolutely stunning. This got, you know, absolutely a stunning blanket. I am loving it. It is made, I made this with a sport weight yarn, so a two weight. Um, so lengthwise, if I try to fold it in half, the diameter is pretty much my wingspan, which means it's around five feet, which means to go around, it takes 15 feet, because you gotta love math and pie, it's their circumference. Um, I'll tell you a little trick for anybody who has young people trying to learn circumference, and like, I don't even remember the word, my daughter imagines a knight, and he is a sir, because, you know, knights are sirs, and his name is Circumference, and his job is to walk the perimeter of the circle and make sure things are safe. That's how he remembers. She remembers. I'm not really sure how she remembers the difference between diameter and radius, but she does. So, it's awesome. It's like the, one of the only things in math that made sense to her. She has a lot of issues with math, but. Um, side note, that was, that was a very much a squirrel moment. So, um, I was saying a thing. Super distracted because they didn't actually get that much quieter, did they? <sighs> I'm really excited about this. Um, today I'm recording this on Wednesday, February 28th. Uh, there's only two more rounds. I'm doubting that I will finish this in sep in February. However, the um, the mystery yarn challenge deadline is like March 10th. So um, I'm going to start working on the next round, which will be to the 12th clue, and hopefully next week we'll be able to have the um, final reveal. I am I do my reveals for the Mystery Yarn Challenge on Saturdays, so this even though I'm recording on Wednesday, this will come out on Saturday, and hopefully I will, honestly, hopefully I have this done by Saturday, so that the next Saturday you can see the next clue. I'm really excited. Um, the next color I will give you a sneak awareness. See this dark blue here? It's not dark dark, but it's um, called cerulean. The next color is a lighter version of that blue. So it will be the outside border color. Isn't this exciting? And it's just so gorgeous. The yarn is soft. It is Yarn B Yarntopia. So it's a two-weight yarn found at Yarntopia. Sorry, at Hobby Lobby. It is amazing. It is so soft. It is so gorgeous. I absolutely love the colors. Um, the only color that I'm like, mm, not super in love with, like I seriously love all the colors, is the peach color, but it's fine. It looks great. Um, so, yeah. Isn't that fun and exciting, guys? Oh, just love it. I'm so excited to be so close. And like that stitch oh, looks like when you like kind of stretch it out a little bit, kind of looks like a flower. I don't know how you can see that if I put my hand behind it. Ah, 
Sometimes I need to wear white so I can click this, but yeah. Gonna get it figured out. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take a picture of it on with a white background. Kind of stretch it out, probably pin it so that you can see it stretched out so that you can really see how pretty that is. Anyway, um, with that, remember to let your light shine, do your creations, whatever they be. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!